Welcome everyone. My name is John Green, Customer Success Manager at Eon Reality. Today I have the privilege to share with you a sneak peek into the highlights of our Eon XR 9.0. I'll kick things off with a short demonstration and then talk to you about the new enhancements to our lessons giving learners a much more engaging user experience. With that, I'm going to log right into my mobile device and just navigate for a bit, show you the new enhancements, the new look and feel as I move this object around. I have all my interactive tools. I can disassemble, add those annotations, see an x-ray vision. All my lesson annotations will be on the right-hand side where educators can create these engaging experiences, adding audio, video, uh, and recording their own voices. On the upper left-hand corner, I can switch this on over into an AR mode and put this object right on my desk. As you can see, the shadow effects, and as I rotate the object around, uh, giving learners this much more engaging uh, look and feel to, to that model. On the right-hand side, I can select different components, even adding this one-to-one -one scale effect and coming right back into that touch mode. So I just wanted to show you that on the device. Uh, and now I'm going to log in and show you the different new enhancements we have to the environments uh, that we have. Um, Eon XR has long provided users with a lifelike 3D models in 360 environments, but the new improved interactive VR environments combine the best of both worlds. Now users are able to uh, navigate through an environment uh, and have multiple lessons in one single space as you move around uh, and come in contact with the, these environments and, and the objects. Here you have your interactive tools. You're able to engage this in, in such unique ways there. And, uh, interact with these objects. Uh, also the ability to have a, an object in AR mode right through your mobile device. As you can see, I'm in my backyard. I can see the flowers there, uh, but I'm overlaying a kitchen right in my backyard. As I walk around the space, I can uh, take a peek. Oh, there are the flowers. Uh, just notice the realism and the different shadows. I can get closer to that uh, stove, peek in, we'll see what's cooking. Uh, and walk around this space and giving this uh, a realistic feel to uh, your lessons and your content. Also the ability to bring in environments. Uh, here's a hospital room, but very much could be a factory floor, a lab, and the ability to move around, use those interactive tools, uh, look around, I can even back out, I can slice this environment in half, get closer, even hover up and over around that environment. So lots of ways we can interact with these models. Just take a look at the new visual quality, uh, the real-time shadows. As I get closer to that object, I can see how the light has an effect on that and move this around in different ways. Uh, just giving a much more realistic look and feel uh, to your lessons and your 3D models. Also notice the real-time reflection off that uh, AR asset. Uh, that you have here in yellow. I can see how that reflects off those objects. As I rotate this around, you can see that uh, giving that new, new, new feeling of uh, realism to your objects. We have a new revamped UI, an improved animation panel. Again, faster and loading speeds uh, for your learners, just improving that overall experience. The ability to change different environments and still stay on the same lesson uh, we'll be able to keep your learners much more engaged throughout the lesson. Also, you continue using those interactive tools in such unique ways. Uh, here you can look at uh, your model and see that x-ray vision. You can take this apart in, in different ways. Again, maintaining that engagement level throughout the lesson as learners explore uh, this content. The new 3D annotation is very exciting. As you can see, as I get closer to that object, I can look at the annotations, and the annotations actually get bigger as I get closer and smaller as I get further back, uh, giving that, that realistic perspective there of those annotations. The ability to record in 3D, this is add your own voice. Percy, Percy, which is a car-sized car rover designed to explore Mars as part of NASA's Mars 2020. You can see that in AR mode, I can point exactly where I want my learners to focus in on, just make it much more engaging. Uh, the physical base rendering to an environment. So as you walk around the space, just notice the shadows, the effect it has on the walls and the object as I go from one side to the other, uh, the light source, where it's coming from, 
uh, just giving that that realistic effect there of being in that environment. Also, the ability to have multiple lessons uh, in in the same uh, environment where I can access my institutional library, look at the categories that has been preset by my instructors, select a lesson. Uh, so all that is part of the experience. Physical base rendering to an object. Again, look at the shadows, the, those effects there on the the new UI interface. Interactive 360 images, much more realistic as I spin around. Again, as a creator, I'll be able to create all my lessons, annotations around this space, maintaining a very interactive uh, experience for my students. Well, hopefully that uh, gave you a good sneak peek and uh, some things to look forward to in the new release. But I want to announce a sneak peek. This is a preview. So this is available for you today. I encourage you to go into the Google Play uh, and download this app. You can type in EonXR Early Access uh, and download this or scan the QR code. Also available on the Apple Store by clicking on this link or scanning the code. Again, it'll give you that sneak peek into uh, these ex exciting new features uh, that we're going to launch for the 9.0. Thank you very much for your time.